welcome to my channel. This is Live Life Lori and today we are going to make stuffed peppers with cute little pumpkin faces in them. So sorry, got to move the feathers out of the way here. Figured I'll dress all festive and like a little witch because we are going to make this little treat for the best time of the year which is Halloween. So let's get right into it. First thing you need to do is make four cups of rice. So it's up to you what kind of rice and um, if it's the quick rice or the one minute rice or jasmine rice, brown rice, doesn't matter. So cook it however the instructions are on your package. You need four cups of rice or quinoa. For this recipe, you're gonna need five peppers, preferably the orange kind, um, or you can use these cute little ones. These are the cute peppers. The first thing we're gonna do is cut the tops off our peppers and we're gonna scoop out the inside. So you don't want to be too much at the top, just a little bit so you have a cute little lid. If you're putting these into like a loaf type of pan to roast, and if they're not standing up on their own, you could cut the top part. Just cut a tiny bit, you don't want to have it too much where you, there's actually a hole in it. Just cut a little bit so that way they stand up. But if you can find these cute little ones, they actually do kind of look like a pumpkin and we haven't carved them yet. Um, but they actually are flatter on the bottom, so they stand up a little bit better. Now we are going to start carving them. So we're going to look for the side that has the most flattest side to make a little face. See this one has a big indentation, so I'm thinking I'm going to use this side. So you just want to cut two little triangle eyes. And don't worry about, you know, don't stress out over uh, what they look like or the size. See I just cut a little bit more, but that's okay. Because this is just a fun, cute, festive little dinner. This is perfect. You could take to a party or you can just uh, make it home for your kids, maybe in the day that they're going to trick or treating. So there's my cute little eyes. I'm just going to make a mouth now. You don't want to make something too big that all the rice mixture is going to come out. However, the rice will be bounded together with some tomato sauce. So you could see how easy that was. And voila, there's our first one. All right, so I have them all done, all the faces. I ended up making five. We need to turn the oven on to 425 and then get your, all your ingredients together. So we're gonna need uh, some rice, preferably if it is a little bit cooled down a bit. I actually made my rice yesterday, so I'm kind of using this as like a leftover kind of meal. And I kept all the little scraps from the little eyes that I cut out, and I'm gonna throw that into our pepper mixture also. And if you want to chop up any other vegetables like onions, green onions, um, I actually have a little bit of black beans I'm probably gonna throw in. You could throw in lentils, beans, anything like that. And also we need some uh, spaghetti sauce or canned tomatoes. I'm gonna use spaghetti sauce today. So turn your oven on to 425 and get all your ingredients. Next we're gonna put in a pack of uh, taco seasoning. You could put your own ingredients, um, which is probably a lot less salty, but for the sake of time, this is supposed to be a very quick meal. I'm using one of these packs. I'm gonna throw that. All right, so I had to add a little bit more of the sauce. So it looks like it's about a cup of sauce, because it's about a half of that jar that I had. So this is the perfect consistency. So every rice has the flavor of the tomato and it's all incorporated with the veggies. You definitely need some kind of veggies in here. I think that makes it so colorful and so bright. All right, so we are ready to stuff now. Now's the fun part. So now we're going to assemble our little cute little pumpkins. So you just take one and you just fill her up. So everything in here that we're scooping in has already been cooked. So you really are only heating it up and we're also gonna put in some dairy-free cheese at the top, some vegan cheese. So just, you don't want to overflow it because then we got our cute little lid. Which one is this? How cute is that? So we'll put him in. Actually, yeah, I'll keep the lid so that way we know which lid goes with who. And then we'll take the lid off when we're ready to put our cheese. So you can see it's actually not falling out of the face at all, which I didn't make very big eyes, but just want to show you. So it's not coming out, so it's perfect. Once your oven is ready at 425, we're gonna put these in the oven for about 25 minutes, just so that the peppers can get a little soft. Once they're almost ready, then we'll take the lids off and just put the, the vegan cheese and then we'll let that melt. 
While we're waiting for the oven to cook our little cute little pumpkin peppers, I thought I would use this time and let you know about a couple of nutritional benefits of bell peppers. I love bell peppers, they are so good. I make them a lot, especially on the barbecue in the summertime. Um, so here you have it. You might already know these, but I figured um, might as well fill the time and let you guys know some of these benefits. Um, so the first one, it is actually contains more than 200% of your daily vitamin C intake. That's actually shocking because I know every time people think of vitamin C, they think of orange juice, oranges, and who knew that the peppers can do that? Another one is a great source of vitamin C, or sorry, B6 and folate. Another one is help support nightly vision, healthy night vision, which is good. That means for your eyes, another one, because um, I think I said that about pumpkin too, so it's good to take care of your eyes. And the last one is packed with antioxidants, which is always good for your health. So here's what they look like. They're done. Now we're gonna add the cheese. So after 25 minutes, they are ready. They have a little bit of brown spots, but that's okay. You can just uh, peel it off. It actually is very soft and very delicious. So now it's time to add the cheese. Today I have this new cheese. I haven't tried it before. It's called grated cheese and it's vegan, hard Italian style. So anyways, it's actually soy free, milk free, lactose free, soy free. So we're just gonna take the lids off and just sprinkle some of this cheese on. And then we'll pop it back in the oven for another five minutes just to melt the cheese. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching. And I do hope that you like and subscribe if you did like it. And let me know in the comments below if you do try it. And I wish you all a happy Halloween. I'm gonna go jump on my broom now. See ya.